you take a kid hunting and you know you're you want to teach the kid to be respectful of the of the game and it's not just about killing them it's about it's about the the process or whatever like you know like where we do it with the dogs where you you run them up there and oh, it's not a solid point don't shoot it and so many times it's like it's, it's not a video game there, there's there's a definite responsibility there's no taking it back once you shoot I mean so many people are so stressed out about everything these days and I think part of it is is they don't get outside and just let themselves just kind of decompress and enjoy what they're doing For me, the dog, like different dogs have different styles of hunting and different people have different ways they want to do things and just knowing that that's how life works has been huge and um, just being like, yeah, it might not be exactly the way you wanted it to go, but that's okay. Like that's part of the fun of it mm -hmm. really and that's, I don't know, the, one of the things that I love the most about hunting is everything today is so scripted whether it be a video game or a TV show or whatever like you can kind of see it coming and with hunting there's really no way to see it coming you can plan you can plan to a T and there's a good chance that deer is going to come from exactly the opposite direction I mean it happened with us today the dogs on point over here and he's rustling around over here and turns out the woodcock had ran <laughs> five yards behind us and flushes mm. behind us and there it goes and that's just I mean that's the unpredictability of it is a lot of fun for me. I really like being outside. I'm not a big city person or anything like that. And so deer hunting's fun. Um, I really love running the dogs. I mean, I've, we've, I've, I had a dog since I was in college and uh, that that's the funnest part. I mean, just like today, you know, you go out there and you watch trigger work and stuff like that. It's, it's not so much being able to to, to shoot or whatever, just watching him work. And what it really comes down to is, like, you can have a hunting dog, and there's a lot of guys that have hunting dogs that are, um, got the pedigree, they got the training, they've been to the trainer, they've been wherever, but if you don't give them the time, the dog's not gonna be anything. Well, and I think one of the most, for watching any anyone or anything get old, like, it's not necessarily watching them get old that's tough. It's watching them not be able to do the things that they love to do. Mm -hmm. And the primary goal with Alpha Dog Nutrition, I mean, it's not a fountain of youth. It's not, we're not extending their lifespan 10 years. But what we're trying to do is make sure that they are healthy and active for the largest possible percent of their life that we possibly can. Like if we can influence that in any way, we're gonna do it. <laughs>